This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. Good morning. Welcome back to Matt Nair on Air. Jane Matt Nair, Greg Bach, Sweet Gal B coming to you live from our studio at Radio Park here in Racine. You can always join us. You can call. You can text. The number is the same. 855-752-4842. Leave a comment if you're watching on the live stream on Facebook, YouTube, or the platform that Putz de Leon continues <laughs> to actively ruin Thanks to JR for joining us. He is not uh, feeling terribly well, and uh, we really appreciate that. Just a re- couple of reminders to five days. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Five days to Election Day. We're going to make it. Gonna Don't. Make it. We're going to make it. Don't give up. Stay positive. Stay activated. Stay motivated. Ignore the political ads. Mute them. Whether printed or on your television or on just just turn just get away from them. And tomorrow we're going to talk about how to treat yourself in the voting season because we want to make sure take care of ourselves too. Self care is an important yes, thing. Yes, absolutely, it absolutely is. Absolutely. All right, it's eleven fifty two, Calvin. That means it is time for yeah, yes, oh. shouldn't be a thing. If you ever have a thing you feel should not be, send it in to Greg and me. (laughs) At Jane Says, at civicmedia.us, J-A-N-E-S-A-Y-S, Jane Says, at civicmedia.us. A scary clown edition today. Greg Bach, you're the one who found this one. Yeah, a Halloween clown was taken to a hospital after being attacked with a needle at a scare fest event. What? This happened in North Wales, and I always thought the English were much, and the Welsh and the Irish were just so far more sophisticated than us. I didn't think they held, they did much for Halloween. I guess they do. There is something, I'm, I'm not going to even try this. It looks like Betswe and Coed. Oh, Welsh is tough. <laughs> All the Welsh people, please don't at me. I understand it. You're more consonants you've ever seen in any one say, place. Your municipalities are like 48 letters long, and you're like, <laughs> it's easy. But point is... In North Wales, there was a Scarefest event put on by a group called Zip World. And it's, you know, like what we do here is haunted house, haunted People, corn maze. Not zombies chase exactly, you. Exactly, exactly. And um, according to the company, a member, a staff member was coming in contact with a potentially dangerous medical device, i.e. one of the patrons stabbed them with a needle. What? Yeah. So in this situation, it was the clown that was scared. Wow. Yeah. They had to be taken to hospital. Hospital. Hospital, yes. They had to be taken to the hospital. Everything is fine with this, the clown. But, folks, if you're going to go to one of these things, first of all, I'm not going. You, you Honestly, you could pay me $1,000 cash and be like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Haunted corn maze, haunted hayride, haunted house, haunted hospital. doesn't matter. Not doing it. No. But also, if you're going to, Fine. Just like voting, you're free to do what you want. But don't take weapons with you. Yeah, don't get to attack the characters. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not <laughs> part of it. That's a real person behind the mask and all the stuff there because they had to go to the hospital and you stabbed a clown with a needle. And it's make-believe. Yes. Just, I'm just throwing that out there. Calvin, did you want to chime in on this? Well, the other day... Um, <laughs> I was stabbing a clown with a needle. No, me and Greg had a conversation about... Um, horror movies, and yes. I personally love horror movies, but I am going to agree with him. I'm not really into the whole horror, like uh, house haunted horror, house, haunted house type yeah. of thing, mm-hmm. especially ones that like rely on like claustrophobia. Uh, not my thing. Yeah, small spaces. Yep. But yes, don't bring weapons to the haunted houses. I just don't. Yeah, Calvin. See, like I, 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 I wish I loved that stuff. I feel like I'd be. I think I'd be happier if I did, honestly, because. I know people who love horror movies. They dress up like them. They watch the movies with their friends. They go to conventions. I watch documentaries. I'm not going to a documentary convention. I want to love horror stuff, too, but I'm such a scaredy cat. The point is, though, folks, we're going to bring it back to where we came from. If you're going to go to one of these haunted places, fine. Have fun. Yeah. Don't stab the staff 
with needles or anything. Especially clowns. Yeah, they've had a bad rap they've, for a long time. They had a tough time. All right, that wraps it up for today's edition of This Shouldn't Be a Thing. Thank you. Thank you for that, Craig. Bob. <laughs> You're welcome. We have a lot coming up on the show tomorrow. It is November. <sighs> November 1st, tomorrow, that will be four days away from Election Day. You can still go early vote. Yep. If you have any questions about whether you're registered, go to civicmedia.us slash vote. There's also a link there to myvote.wi.gov. Mm-hmm. If you've already cast your ballot, Sherry from Horicon checked in earlier this morning. If you go to myvote.wi.gov, go to ballot tracker. Yep. And that will take you through the whole process so that you know that your ballot has been registered and is ready to get counted. And I want to say thank you to Sherry for calling, for not only sharing up with us her journey of voting, but also what she's going through right now. Our heart goes out to you and your son. Honestly, I hope you two can and now, there's a lot of have households. a talk. There's, yeah. a, there's a lot of households, unfortunately, that are very, very divided about this. Yeah. Hopefully, after Tuesday, we can all find a way to move past it. Accept the results. <laughs> yes, we're, we're going to accept the results, everybody. Accept the results. Accept them. And They're then real. unify as Americans. Yeah, together. Together and get something done for, for all of us. Yes. No matter who you vote for. Yep. Dan Schaefer will be here tomorrow, so I hope you can join us for that. Also looking forward to talking to Kyle Kilborn. He is going to be running again. He is running mm-hmm. against Tom Tiffany. Oh, boy. Chance to make some changes up north. All right. Thank you, Greg and Calvin and all of our engineers and everyone in Civic. Without you, nothing works. Thank you most of all for calling and for texting and for listening. It absolutely means the world. I hope you find some joy today. You get the chance to share it. News is coming up next. Keep it right here on the vast statewide, countrywide, perhaps global Civic Media Radio Network. We'll see you tomorrow. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about.